you've been here before, it's not a big, big deal for you, but it's probably always fun to, to come back home, right? For sure, always fun to get to see family and friends and spend some time with them and play some baseball, for sure. This year, um, you're getting more of an opportunity. Obviously, you've already played 30-some games. I think you're playing different positions. Just talk about the progress you feel you've made uh, this season particularly. Um, I feel like I'm just being a little bit more consistent. Uh, consistent with my work, consistent with my preparation, and uh, it's paying off for me a little bit more this year and uh, starting to hit the ball a little bit harder and driving the baseball more, so it's been fun. The uh, jack-of-all-trades thing? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, you were a shortstop for a long time. Playing first base, how much of an adjustment has that been for you? Uh, I mean, I just try to catch the ball. I mean, try to keep it as simple as possible. I mean, there's uh, it's definitely different over there on that side of the field, um, but I just try to have fun with it and just do my job. When you see guys like, say, Chris Bostic, Andy Preen, I'm just thinking of the guys from here that can play multiple positions and get their shot. Does that enter into your mind a lot when, when you've shown the versatility to play different positions? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I just I just try to do whatever I can to help the club. I mean, if I have to play first, I, I played left field this year. First time I played outfield in my professional history. So, I mean, it's fun, man. I, it's try to keep try to keep it light, try to keep it, have, fun, have fun with it, and just do my best. So what's that like if you hadn't played the outfield and all of a sudden you're out there waiting on it? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it, was, it was the second game of a doubleheader, so it was seven innings. I mean... It wasn't bad. It was, I didn't. Not a lot of pressure out there. You see, though, what went into um, your decision to re-sign with them this year? You were, I think, you were a free agent. Um, you could have gone somewhere else. Why did you decide to come back to the organization? I mean, like if you've been you've been blocked for a while. Right. Um, what went into that decision? Um, it's all I know. I mean, I've I've always wanted to be a Yankee my whole life. I mean, since I was a little kid, and um, I love the guys here. I love the te- my teammates. I love the coaching staff and. They told me that I'd uh, get a chance to compete for time in AAA, and I opened that challenge. With I mean, I I love, I love the challenge of that, and just try to keep focus on baseball and go with it there. With the draft coming up, what advice would you give to high school kids who are weighing D1 opportunities versus potential slots like you went through? Um, I mean, follow your heart. I mean, I, I always wanted to be a Yankee my whole life, so it was an easy decision for me. Um, I really appreciate Maryland what they what they brought to the table, but I mean, being drafted by the Yankees was a dream come true for me, so it was easy. But I mean, uh, minor league baseball is tough, so I mean, if you don't feel like you're ready to be away from your family and stuff, maybe you should go to college. But if you feel like you're ready, go for it. It's fun. Well, you, not only drafted by the Yankees, you're a first round pick of the Yankees, so there's a lot of positives. Is there a downside to being a first round draft pick? Um. I mean, not really. I mean, there's pressure there, but um, I think there's pressure in baseball in general. I mean, you want to go out here and you want to play well, and you want to, I mean, playing well equals a happy life. You know what I mean? So when I'm when I'm out there, I just try to play well, and I try to not let that pressure get to me anymore. It got to me early in my career, for sure, uh, just trying the expectations of me being who I needed to be. But I, I'm really confident in what I'm doing now. So, so when you say that, is your goal – to get an opportunity in the major leagues, still, I mean, you're you're right here. I mean, you're right you're right I mean, on the edge. Of course, that's why I still play. I mean, the the moment I like, I don't feel like I need to like. The moment I don't have fun with this and I and I and I stop trying to reach my goal is probably the time I need to hang them up. And I still feel like I have a lot to offer. Let's talk about the maturity, being away from home. You know, just your growth and maturity in major league baseball. Even guys in big leagues that have been around for ten years are still learning. How have you matured, you know, the ups and downs of, you know, playing pro baseball? I mean, I think I've just learned how to handle it better. Um, I think I realized that there are going to be ups and downs. When I first signed out of high school, um, playing here in upstate New York, I felt like I was really, really good. And going into pro baseball, everyone's really, really good. So it was definitely a learning curve there. But um, I just, I think now I realize more that guys are going to make good pitches. Guys are going to get me out. I just try not to dwell on them as much. Is the hair game kind of a Bryce Harper thing? Or <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I just, it just does what it does. <laughs>